Hello and welcome to those who follow the channel as well as those who are new to the channel. I wanted to make a video series of how to start the game giving the new starting options that came about after the December 5th 2023 update. I've previously made a video that covers the new level 20 quick start options and now I'm going to make a video, or series of videos, that cover how to start off from scratch with the new level 2 starting options and cover some of the new game concepts as well as some new locations that are here in the wasteland. If you enjoy this content and find it helpful, please take a moment to like this video, consider subscribing to the channel, and if you do, hit that notification bell so that you can get updates on new videos as they release. Also, please leave a comment. I do try to respond to all comments and it helps the channel grow. So that being said, it's no longer necessary to go over here and eject the Nuka Tapper video. You get that for free as you leave the vault now, but let's go grab our pit boy. And as there's nothing else to really interact here with in our room, let's go ahead and rest for a few moments so that we wake up vault rested. Didn't spend a whole lot of time with the character creation here. I didn't realize that the profile I'd picked was a man bun hairstyle, but I guess I'll just have to live with it. And then once we wake up from our little nap, I'll go ahead and also strum a few chords on the guitar so that we get the fine-tuned bonus as well. We're going to need every bonus we can get as we exit the vault and try to rank up quickly. All right, well rested. These videos are kind of uh, geared toward those who've already played Fallout before. If you are new, uh, you'll see that I rushed past quite a bit of the lore. I encourage you to take the time to read every screen and interact with every character. Lots of interesting things to learn here in the vault. But for our purposes, I'm going to assume that you're an experienced Fallout 76 player and just interested in how the new start options will affect you if you decide to create a new character. So all that done, let's go ahead and leave. You have been tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. Again, I'll uh, pass up this interaction. Go to this first kiosk here. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. I've got my own mission. And again, if you're new to the game, you can interact with all of these Mr. Handys. They'll give you interesting information about each kiosk and each game concept that it kind of comes to represent. So far, all of this is pretty much the same. If you get the system, This kiosk now only has the hat. And then we'll skip past and hit the overseer's office. Check her terminal. Just here to play the holotape. Overseer's log, or should I say direct communication, 
And if, again, if you're new to the game, I encourage you to read through all of these options. But I'm glad you did. But we're experienced players. So we've already heard her spiel. It's just time for us to... Still pretending it's reclamation day, are we? Grab what we can as we go. Again, nothing lootable or interactable there. There is a terminal here that you can read if you want a little bit of lore. And then here at this table now, this is no longer where you rank up and grab your first perk cards and assign your first perk points. You get to loot a few things. All that we'll do as we exit the vault. Uh, one thing that is still here, though, is just before you get to the st stairway, you can duck in here. And you still have this terminal that you can hack. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. If you've been following along, what I drew try to do is find words that either have the same beginning or the same ending. See, I see lots of words that end in S. Matter of fact, I see two words that end in ES, dens and wins, so let's give that a shot. Only one of those is good. So let's try another word that ends in S. Oop, zero, so it was not the S in wins. So let's see if it's the I. There we are, we're in. I'll just take this XP. Skip on the lore. And as he says, once we leave the vault, we will not be able to return. Here we exit, and we get the opportunity to either do the level 20 quick start, which they call the best choice. Again, I've covered that in a previous video. So now we're going to go ahead and do this fresh dweller start. And just like the level 20, your various load options here. You have the slugger, inspirational, action dweller, gunslinger, first aid. So we'll go through each of these. First there is the slugger. As you can see, you're going to get one point in strength. And we exit the vault now at level two. Or really two and a half. And if we check our pit boy, we see that we now have a strength of two and the slugger card. And also start off with the 10 mil and a combat knife. Level one set of leather armor. We do start off with a survival backpack. A little bit of food and drink. Some meds. A repair kit, some bobby cat pins. As you can see, we get the Nuka Tapper uh, hologram. We no longer have to remember to eject that from the terminal. 
get the plan for the, the backpack that we're carrying. Mild amount of junk. And 500 rounds for the pistol. And I would also note that by picking this, you start with a 170 carry weight. Now, if we pick the inspirational perk card, as you can see, we start with a bonus to our charisma. So let's check out what the inspirational perk card status looks like. We get the inspirational card, which helps with XP if you decide to join a team. So if you are going to go with a Lone Wanderer build, as we are in this series, this is not going to be a good option for us. Looks like it's the same weapons loadout. Same armor, same food and drink, same aid. Yep, looks like it's just about the same everything. So I guess if you are going to join teams the minute you're out, and you can just go ahead and join a casual team. That doesn't mean that you have to play with any of the other players that are available. But I'm going to pick the Lone Wanderer path, so this isn't going to work for me. So here, let's we have the Action Dweller. Looks like you'll get the extra boost to Agility. And as we can see, we do start off with a boost to agility and the Action Boy card. I'm going to leave the Gunslinger for last because I believe that is actually the best option to pick. But let's investigate this first aid part. Again, this, this one looks like it gives you the point in intelligence and will most likely give you the first aid card as well. But let's go ahead and confirm that. And as suspected, yes, you start with a first aid card and a boost in intelligence. So not a bad option, but as I've alluded to, not what I think is the best option if you're going to go for the fresh dweller start with since the new update so I will cover that one next goodbye aloha ciao And you guessed it, we start out with the one point of Gunslinger with an agility of two. That being said, let's go ahead and make sure that our start off with this 10 mil, okay. And let's speak to Pennington. Oh, sir. Those young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly alive. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are 
civil. Oh, do be careful out there, sir. All right, so this is the standard. If you're new and you want to talk to him and ask some more questions, you can. Down at the bottom of the stairs, we see Cagney and Lazy down there. They don't have much to offer now. Used to be an important stop to speak with them to grab some weapons, but they don't offer up weapons anymore. But we get a pipe pistol here. And there's still a plethora of ghouls down here. Let's see if we can. We'll get this guy. Got some ammo back. There should be another one up here on. Let's do my usual careful looting. Nothing here. We'll hop in the bus, see what goodies await us here. No ghouls in the bus. Grab the suit flower. There's still an explosives crate here in the back of this Jeep. That hasn't changed. We'll see what ghouls await us down here. There we go. Hey, you. Got a measly paintbrush. More ammo. More ammo. Duct tape, that's good stuff. Let's see, there should be a few more ghouls over here waiting for us. We'll see who lumbers out of the bus, and there's usually one up the stairs. There he is. Come on down. And then we're going to have to go get this guy. Hey, no standing around. Have this responder corpse. And let's see what goodies are on the bus. Probably didn't really need that skull. No, nope, we get a plan. That's good. While I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we don't really need that bone. I don't know why I did that. 
It's usually more ammo. Another plan, that's fantastic. I probably could pass on a lot of this glass, but at the very beginning it's best to loot all you can carry. If we get close on carry weight, I'll Nothing around here. Usually some ammo boxes around these barriers. There's one. As you can see, ammo is absolutely no issue anymore. That's something that's not at all like it was when the game first came out. Scrounging for every bullet. I'm going to follow this same path as I have in my previous walkthroughs. Usually there's a fire cap right there. You can still get this blood leaf. And come on. Still a ranger's hat to be had. And we'll see what creatures await us up here at this flatbed truck. Sometimes it's radstag, sometimes it's beavers. Today it's squirrels. Might have scared him off. Probably not going to be eating any of that, but when it goes to rot, we'll have a good source of fertilizer. Excuse me. This lantern. Some gunpowder. We'll pass on cooking now. We're going to go ahead and head out down this wash to the Moonshiner Shack. You can see the shack there in our compass. Let's see, usually, yeah. Uh, got some kind of battle going on with the wildlife they don't generally need our help it's a matter of fact it's best to kind of stay out of the way I found and let's yeah. just get to looting now the people have come back to this area they'll uh oh be setting up places oh. like foundation usually there's some loot back there Finally. we'll get this rad stag Get this recipe. What's that noise? Uh oh. <laughs> the 
We really need to clean up around. Yes, there's usually a lot more loot in here. The scorch of the ferals don't get you. The rats will. Well, let's go ahead and scrap some of these items. We really need to clean up around here. Getting lots of mods for the combat knife. Yes, scrap this item. And then hopefully we'll get a mod out of this pipe pistol. That's excellent. Oh, oh I'm sore all over. And building this place up is hard work. Let's get over to our junk. And I want to be careful. I do not want to scrap now, now the, people the money. This area, they'll all want to be setting up places like foundation. If we get a little heavy on carry weight, we can always drop all this glass. Like I said, I want to keep that. We can use that to trade. Same thing with all this bone. We really don't need all this bone. Let's see, brings us down to 95 of 165. But we did kill that. Tick. See if there's any goodies over here. No, it looks like this place has been pretty well picked over. Well, might be coming along, but we got a lot more work to do. Go ahead and grab this. It's just about time to eat. Good. We got some more fertilizer. That'll come in handy. This, fix that. See what's going on here in the still. Value the importance of a well-crafted meal. Cool. Pipe revolver. Oh, nothing in the toolbox. Ah, oh, nothing in the duffel bag. Yep, there's usually, I have to say, a lot more here. Kind of bad luck on us. Keep our fellow brothers and sisters well fed. Go ahead and visit around the side just in case. Miss anything? I'm sore all over. All right. This place up is hard work. Well, let's do a little. Oh, he's getting in the way. We'll go ahead and cook then. I did get everything out of the lunch pail. Yeah. Let's go ahead and cook. We'll get some XP for that. Further out we expand our influence, the more people As you can see, I, I kind of shed the, the man bun. I'm sore all over. Building this place up is hard work. It's corn soup. Let's cook some of that up. Need some new clothes. I'm getting real muddy. Nothing that your spirits like a homemade meal. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and put a point in intelligence. And all I get is the first aid card. Finally, nice day. Well, we'll take it. So no longer do you get to choose which card you might want. So let's go ahead and equip it. And let's go ahead and scrap our extra weight here. We picked up a pipe revolver. Let's scrap that. It's hard work making a living out here. All right.
back down to 195. So, let's go ahead and head back up here and have that little conversation with Lacey. Gather a little wood on the way. Lacey. Whoa, whoa. Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? Nope. Sealed oh, tight. Damn it. <sighs> we got a tip from the wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps? And he said that inside that vault is the... You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. Nope, sorry. <laughs> I think you got but... some bad information. I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Well, bad news. I was the last one out of the vault. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? So we no longer... well... They sent you out here without a weapon? Be a quick trip trying to do this unarmed. Here. And we get the machete from her. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and watch yourself out there. Get moving. In the interest of time. Let's see if she's got anything in her cart. No, looks like usually there's some hangers. Oh, there's there's some stuff to loot in her cart. And then, of course, we have the new player drop box. I'll go ahead and read the Welcome to the Wasteland. There, it used to be that... There's just the one here outside the vault, but now one of the new things is that there's also one at the Wayward, some at the train stations. Let's see. Should be a couple of ghouls down here to greet us. Unless this other player has... Oh, there we go. There they are. Kind of out of range. See how close we can get. We'll start with this guy. Where's your buddy? Oh! Wow, three of them. Usually it's just the two. They kind of caught me unawares. But we got some good stuff out of there. And we also get... These orders from Maria Chavez. This Paul's corpse is out there somewhere. We got it off of him. And we got that from the area loot. Now that we're done with those guys. Head on over here to this lookout tower 
for some more goodies, I hope. Ah! Some more wood from the wood pile. There's some potatoes around the side. Let's grab those. And go back upstairs here. So no settler. Sometimes there's a settler up here and you can talk to him. Swimming in ammo. I'm going to leave that bottle. We probably have enough glass. But the next place we want to go is down this way. The mysterious cabin. So we can put that in our sights up a little more wood. We're going to need that for cooking and for building our camp. So you see there's a small little trail here that heads down. Can we follow these little suit flowers here. Not worrying too much about carry weight at the moment. As there will be another crafting bench down here that we can use to scrap. See, they're looking here. Get our bonus. I'll take that rack for the wood. See, somebody's doing some arithmetic. They've got the periodic table inside the doghouse there. Grab that starlight creeper. That would be great if we had some better recipes. More ammo. Let's see. Don't need any more empty bottles. Here, we'll take these full ones, though. Sell them. I think that's an empty bottle. Yeah. I have a few notes on the wall. Ghoul's Note 1 and 2. About Mr. and Miss Braxton. Telling them that they're not alone. Perhaps they've become ghoulified. A gathering to the east of the capital. So let's get some bobby pins, another beer, nothing in the crate. I think there's a pack of smokes. Let's see. Yeah. And here is Reuben, or at least Reuben's safe key. Although you don't need, we'll grab it. All right, a short hunting rifle. That's good will come in handy. Get his checklist. His last thing on his list is to kill Zack. Find anyone from 76. So he must have found somebody from 76. Perhaps the overseer. Because he has that. And we get some building, a list of building supplies that he is looking for. 
But as we see, he succumbed to something. Okay, out here we can get some more dirty water if we would like. We have another little cook area here. See nothing in the box. Got some more starlight creeper. A melon. There's a crafting station there. Around the corner is usually some hides. Usually rabbit skin hide. Get more wood. There's a tent over here. Got some caps. That's great. Wonder glue. And then there's the outhouse here. And of course, just like every Bethesda game, always got to check the outhouse. And the untitled poem. So let's do some scrapping. Scrap these machetes. And we'll go ahead and scrap this and hopefully get a mod. Gonna get some springs out of that, that's good. Get some gold and some oil out of that. I'm gonna keep that to sell. Soap, we get some oil there, some more wood, and some adhesive. Down there we see the farm. But we're going to head this way. Check the map real quick. And we're going to continue playing. We want to head over here to speak to Lane. have this little fishing area we come across. I hear some more critters. Squirrels or beavers or something. Oh, a chicken. Now what's going to happen? Is he going to get mad if I shoot his chicken? I guess not. Be some good cooking. Get this fire cap. Talk to this guy. Maybe some more, uh, more of that nuka shot. <clears throat> Last time, <laughs> oh, it hit me harder than a train. Hey, I happen to have some nuka shine. You, <clears throat> you want a real drink? Hit up the wayward. Tell him I sent you. I'll <clears throat> take another. Uh, maybe just one more whiskey. Well, how about we take your stuff and we leave you here? We're off to meet Lane. more wood
And part of the... Ooh, let's get that Starlight Creeper. One of the new additions with the... December 5th... Uh, update is... The lumber mill has now become a... Responders... Station. I'm not sure why they did that. I'm not sure what to think about that. It doesn't really make much sense to me. That kind of... When we get to Flatwoods, what's going to happen when we read about how the responders have all taken out at Morgantown Airport, and then we find them here. So not only have they now been resurrected at White Springs, They're now alive and well and thriving. Here at Gillum Hill. Ah, I didn't really need that beaker. Again, we've got more glass than we know what to do with. More ammo. Come on, we need weapons. That's what we need. Better weapons. Nothing out here on the... There's a corpse we can check. Nope, sorry, responder. Just didn't make it. Oh, almost missed these beers. Take those wood scraps. And this place used to be crawling with ticks. Now, as you can see, we can loot in safety. Did get this, didn't I? Feel bad if I had missed it. And now over here... We have a responder station. We got those bots up and running. Fixing this all by hand would be a nightmare. So as you can see, we have a cook station. Tinker's workbench. Some T-45 armor. Unfortunately, we're not quite high enough level. But it's a quick set for those who do make it up to rank 25 especially if you start the level 20 quick start looks like some of these Responders, taking the big sleep. There's Lane. We'll talk to him after we've thoroughly looted everything. So all the workbenches you need are now here at Gilman Lumber. Again, I do not understand the logic behind this. You even get a stash box. So once we're done looting, the enemy must eliminate trees. June handles the supplies. We're looking for provisions. Can rest if we need to. A weapons workbench. You know what we could use more of? Everything. All right, June. Come again. We'll come and can trade with June. There's ammo and medical supplies. Let's see what's upstairs. Nothing up here.
Ah. All right, let's talk to Lane and see what he has to say. Hello there, stranger. Where did you come ambling in from? One of those vault dwellers, are you? I've heard tell of your kind. Solved a lot of problems. And caused a lot of problems, from what I hear. You wouldn't happen to be one of the problem-solving kind, would you? I could use one of those right about now. Oh, excuse me. Let me introduce myself. Name's Lane Platt. I'm with the Responders. We're a band of self-titled do-gooders around these parts. Appalachia's filling up fast, and we're trying to keep everyone hale and healthy and off each other's throats. I like to think so. It gives me hope that we can one day right all the wrongs in this world. Now, there's a lot going on in this neck of the woods, more than I can tackle myself. You've got ferocious beasts roaming the forest, creepy cult moving into the caves, and all manner of people about ready to go to war with one another. All that is to say, I could use a hand, and I'd be willing to pay you for yours. What do you think? Well, I think that if I had done the level 20 quick start, that is I'd get right terrific. on it. Thank you a thousand times over. Uh, here's the job for today. So he's a giver of daily dangerous cult. quests. Cult of the Mothman has moved into a cave system nearby. They're part of a larger organization that extends all throughout Appalachia. And learning more about them will help us combat their spread. I'd like you to go into those caves and gather some of their ritual artifacts for study. You'll earn a fine commission for returning them to me. All right. Be careful. The cult of the Mothman is dangerous. They'll no doubt protect those artifacts with their lives. Oh. There's a note to Addy. So we see Addy's story here with the responders. Or, or Lane's letter to Addy. So here's Lane's story. Take his note. I did get that, right? Nope. If we were higher enough level, we could reallot some perk points, but we're not. So let's do some scrapping and some selling. Yeah, we've got some... No mod there. Now, I'm going to wait until we get to level 5 to actually, I'm not, let's see, we could see if we have any available mods. I think I would like a long barrel. That'll help a little bit. And I guess we could go over here to the armor workbench. Oh, there's some more wood. Nope, must have gotten that. Well, we can upgrade to boiled. I'm not going to put any paint on it. Glad we got those box up and running. like we might just have hang on oh oh it's already hang on was that right yeah leather 
not standard, we want boiled. Make that. There we go, so we've upgraded a bit. And we have... Oop, let me go ahead and scrap that real quick. Pencil. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and store all our junk. And let's take back. Our pack of cigarettes and all our money. And let's see what kind of trading she has. Just your friendly neighborhood quarter, mistress. All right, mistress. So she's got some plans. It looks pretty good. Might come back. Looks like a lot of this we already have. Whoa! Oh, sorry. So let's see what we can sell. I'm going to go ahead and sell all these throwable explosives. Hey, uh, how, how's that weather, huh? Oh, the weather's great. I bet you didn't know we stocked blowfly larva. It's a delicacy. We can sell all of this since we'll be cooking our own food for XP. Now I know what the stuff is going through. You know what's always in stock? Irradiated drinking water. I'm going to keep the sugar bombs. It's a great ingredient. So, all right. So, next stop will be the Wayward. We're going to go ahead and just bypass... farm for now. We'll come back to that once we're a little bit higher level. Yep, we'll deal with those ghouls when we've got some better weapons and better armor. So we'll just be passing on by. We'll give them a wide berth or scorched, I should say, that place is crawling with scorched. And I'd like to be able to put down some headshots by the time I come back to mess with them. Oh.
Rad stag to cook up. Ah, uh, here we go. Grab a little bit more wood. Oh, hey. I do like to have the glowing fungus soup. It's one of my favorite recipes. Glowing fungus soup, corn soup, and brain fungus soup. All right, nothing in there. Let's see, there's a box here. See if it's been raided. Oh. And here we are back at the overseer's camp. We'll come back and do all that later. But, let's see what we can raid. And visit the Wayward. Let's see if Trudy is still ready for a shootout. We see there is now a player drop box here at the Wayward. I'll leave those tomahawks. There's nothing there in that. Well, let's run in and see what's going on with Trudy. See if she's still being threatened. Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you? Hey! Who the hell are you? Now I'm not gonna try to... None of your damn business! What's going on is that this one seems to think I know where this big... Yes, I'm not gonna try to recruit him or join his gang. I'm gonna go ahead and gun him down. Lady, this is your last warning. Our crew is getting that treasure. And I will happily send you both to the great goddamn beyond if you don't start explaining where I can find what's ours. Let's just go ahead and do it. Don't worry, I'll make it quick. Darn, come on. I told you it was going to end badly. Now, I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Darn it, Mo, you were supposed to... Mort, you are supposed to do a better job there. Oh, well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Well, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Yeah, I thought I'd come by, pick up a quest... And your guess is as good as loot your place. Heard. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy you put down, he's not the first of his crew to roll in here, but I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house, but my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? Sure, I'd love to help. That's what I was hoping. So... The details. 
Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? I'd, I'd build a great big sign. Well, aren't you a smart cookie? And I think I know just how to do it. Just We're going to build a great big sign, aren't we? Oh, man. Bent over that table like that, drawing up those schematics. I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. I if knew I a sign. It's too bad. It's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it. Use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Yeah. That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, no, nah, I'm not bragging or anything. But well, I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course, you're going to need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Oh, yes, there's plenty lying around here the, Throw some for us to in there too, crap. So you don't starve on me. Thanks, Duchess. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Yep. Oh, I guess we should ask about the Overseer. Overseer, huh? So you must be the one. <laughs> no, I haven't seen her. But I have heard her. My people found a tape just on the other side of the road that it seems she left behind for one of her dwellers. Though it's a bit out of date now. Maybe it was waiting there for you. Happy to give it to you. So long as you're still willing to help us. Of course. Let's Hot do it. Dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure once you find out where they're hiding that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. Oh, I'll let them know. And here, that overseer tape. Sounds like she set up that camp across the way so her people could get some practice in self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a refresher. Let's see what we get. Yay! But not quite enough to get us to level 4, though. Darn it. Okay. So. One thing I want to point out is you always want to get the pepperoni roll. We're going to come back and talk to Mort later. Again, at this point, it's all about the looting. Breaking all this down for scrap across the way. And putting it in our stash box. A 
do like clipboards. Good source of springs. Check out the restroom. Come on. Tin cans, also a good source of lead. So I'll probably go ahead and finish looting here. I don't want you to miss... There is this upstairs area that's free for looting. So I'm going to go ahead and loot the wayward off camera, break down as much of the junk as I can, and we'll save all of our next steps for the next video where we will head down to Flatwoods. So thanks for following along. A lot of this may look very familiar as this is the path I've covered in previous videos that I've made, how to get started videos that I've made. Oh, love that hot plate. If you found this enjoyable, please give it a like.